Yeah, he's been, he's been doing the galleries for a long, long time, yes, man. Yes, he was. So, I mean, he enjoyed working with me. I enjoyed working with him, you know. It's good, you know, people working together like this. We need more of that. Hell yeah, man. You know, that's just, you know, the way things should be. You know, that's I know. good shit. Yeah, I love, I love the direction you're going with with all the, the vibrant colors yeah. and, the, um, and the crazy designs yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's, like, where's, um, that, where's that coming from, man? That's um, that stuff when we were kids growing up. That was like we would see that in advertisements and posters and and um, the album covers. Well, a lot of the album covers we would get our letters, our designs, our colors from. You know, even some of the movies. Like I did a I did a western letter piece with Mark with '98, and we got that idea from a, a Clint Eastwood movie. Which one? Uh, I think it was The Good and Bad and Ugly. I'm not sure. It was just okay. so long ago, but. Yeah, but were, just the letter and the, the font letter they had on the poster. The font they had on the on the on the the credits and all that back then. We would get stuff like that, man. And then you know, like street advertisement, you know, like um, even the Seven Up, the Seven Up advertisements. Well, a lot of that stuff was, believe it or not, a lot of stuff we also adopted from Peter Max with the colors and all that, because he he had a lot of vibrant colors. He was he was known for that, you know. He he did um. The Yellow Pages in 1970, I believe, and I believe he did the the Yellow Submarine album cover. Oh but, wow! But his colors were very vibrant. Like I mean, like this, like if, if you see this canvas behind me here, this is the way I want to go now, and this is this is um, what I grew up seeing back then. The, the colors, the designs. This is all stuff I grew up, in, and I incorporated, and me and my partner incorporated it. In our pieces, me, Mark 198, Nick 707. We were doing colors very nice. We were getting good at them. And uh, the rest of the guys, Kuda, um, Boots, all of us, all of us together, we were just we were just starting to gel, you know. And then, then things started going sour because, you know, we got in trouble with the law. They were coming after us and all that. So we slowed down. But all these colors and everything come from us growing up as kids. Advertisements. Black light posters. Yeah, some of those, like the Superfly one. Super, the, the Superfly one. The Hendrix one. The, the, the Superfly one, the Hendrix one. Here's, the, here's Whoa, an example. Oh, the Peter Max the one. Peter, is here's sick, the 7 dude. Up. This is stuff we grew up looking at. Stuff like this. I mean, how can you not I mean, learn from stuff like this? Look at the colors and everything. And then also. Um, Hold up, kid. Can you go back to that one? Okay, right here. And just hold it up for us. This is this is the stuff that would so, be hanging. Tilt it a little bit. This is the stuff that would be hanging on the stores. They would advertise they're selling Seven Up, and this is the stuff we were looking at work like this. You know. Now, if you look at this and you go back to a skateboard, I, I have done. It's it's something similar to it. So this is stuff that comes to my mind as I'm working. It's like like it's like when we were piecing. Like subconscious. It's subconscious. We weren't really thinking about it. It just came as we were going with the flow. Hold on, keep that there for a second. I'm sorry, okay. Kit. And yeah, leave right there. And this is one of my boards. Amazing. And it's the coloring and it's all, you know, this is a lot of work similar to Peter Max. Love it. And and then we would go with the um the black book posters. Ooh, go back to that one seven up one. This one, right? This, these are all designs, I believe, by Peter Max. Uh, just move it over, kid. Try to, yeah. There you go. This oh, is, down a little bit. This and then tilt it. There you go. This Perfect. is Peter Max's work, actually. If you look at the colors, the comma, this is stuff we were incorporating in our lettering. We would wow. even even the designs we were incorporating, and and yeah, um, like the fillings and, and stuff. the fillings, Beautiful, yes. Dude. We were incorporating the fillings, then then we would you know go back here. Here, here was some of the black light posters. Here's the Zeppelin. This is stuff we were growing up listening to Zeppelin, so we always had a lot of us have posters. We would get up. They had the black black light poster is something you know. It was like a poster that you would hang up in your room, and you'd have a black light, and it would just bring it out like it was glowing in the dark. That's where the black light poster was, and we used to uh, see these colors Should here. Slide over this way a little bit. Thanks. Amazing. See, look, this is, oh, a, this man, is another P the Max right there. there. But this is stuff we were incorporating. I'll go back to that Max one. I love that one. See? These are posters. Yeah, get that then. one good, Bill. That one's coming up like shit on mine. Can you get it? Yeah, I really oh, like oh, that oh, one. Yeah, you're good. Perfect. 
Then we were going into our uh, here. Here's a nice one from Hendrix. Look at these colors. We this is the stuff we're incorporating. These were lime greens, red, purples, yellows, uh, blues, royal blues. This is all stuff we love to work with. Our crew was known for colors. If you ask any old school cat back in the 70s, they'll tell us our, our crew was known for colors. We were very good with colors. Yeah. And uh, here, here's, here's a beauty right here. This one was nice. This, these are all black, wow, black, white so posters. Cool. They're beautiful, man. Here, here's another one. See, these are these are things we grew oh, up seeing. Man. I mean, how can you not put this? We were transferring. The art's not the same anymore, like that. No, you no, know? we were transferring like, this on the trains, basically, yeah. subconsciously. We were transferring on the trains. We didn't even know it. It's like 80 skateboard graphics, man. Yeah, look they at this. Come on, man. How could you? I mean, how can you go? Look at the lettering on this. This is the kind of lettering we were using too. Every summer. How can you not do stuff like this on the trains? Yeah, back so then? cool. We were exposed to all. We were lucky because we were exposed to all this stuff. You know, all of it. I mean, come on. Look at this work. Beautiful. I mean, who 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 makes work like this anymore? Really? Look, look. I mean, I just, I was just. Wow. I was just so lucky yeah. to grow up in this era because it was just. Yeah, you guys have the yeah, best these music. Are, these are album covers now. That these looks like what, a dolly painting. Right. These are the album covers we used to look at because we used to buy albums. We actually we used to rack them up. We didn't really buy them. We used to put them up our back and rack them up. But these are the um, these are the album covers. Here's another oh, seven of them. Oh man, so cool! Look at this. Look how beautiful this is, man. Come on, how can you go wrong? Here, look at this. See the album covers? You these were all things we were growing, and this stuff is right now what I'm starting to work with. I'm incorporating into my canvases, and you're gonna see a lot of things in there. B signs and all everything from the, related to the '70s into the early '80s is gonna be in the canvases, and and all this comes back to this time when I was growing up as a kid. Here, here's the Beatles. The, look at this yellow submarine one. Keep it there one sec. See, this is where ideas were coming from. Not only for us, for other graffiti writers too. They were looking at the same thing as us. We weren't the only ones, you know. But there were other guys out there doing the same thing. You know, the only problem was sometimes to get the colors. It was very difficult to rack up the good colors. You know, you had to go to different stores for different colors, but. Once we got them together, man, we were doing nice pieces. You can't go wrong, man. This is how we were growing up back in the day. These are beautiful. See? And I look forward to doing a lot more, a lot bigger ones. They're going to be bigger and better, more colorful. Lots of things incorporated in them. But we were lucky, that's all I can tell you. Growing up in the 70s, we were lucky to be exposed to stuff you like sure this. sure were, dude. Yep. Wow. The ideas and everything all came with the stuff we were looking at. All of the albums. Yeah, wasn't that Robert Crumb? Right, or what's his name? Um, uh, Crumb. Crumb, right? I believe so, yeah. Well, what the hell is his name? It's just, I mean, look at the lettering. See? Yeah, that guy, he, I used to read his comics. See, this books. is, these were like, this is like bubble lettering right here, a little bit, you see? And, and like the highlights yeah, and everything. Yeah, it's a cool style, with the 3D. Yeah, yeah. It is. So it wasn't just the colors we were getting. We were also getting some of the lettering off of this stuff, too. I mean, look at, look at that. See these designs? See, I'm going to yeah, incorporate amazing. designs like this also. I mean, this is my last canvas right here I did. And look at the colors. I mean, this this is what I'm incorporating now. This is going to be a lot bigger ones, a lot brighter ones, and you're going to see a lot more stuff incorporating them. But that's the direction I'm swinging into. Sick, kid. We love it, man. Can mm -hmm. we see the canvas that you did with uh, with Chris today again? Yes, here it is. This is the one I did with Chris. <coughs> Robots will kill. This is incredible, man. And uh, we had a good day today, all of us. Me, Chris, the Cosman, yeah, and um, crazy. Kevin, Billy, Billy, <laughs> Kevin. Billy, What's Billy? Up, Kevin? Like, like Mick Jagger says, Billy, where's Billy? <laughs> now kids never gonna forget your name. <laughs> Billy, anybody seen Billy? I'm just gonna call you Mick from now on. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that was from a live. It was live. One of his live albums. 
By sick, the way, man. those guys, those guys, I mean, what are they, like late 70s and they're still going to go on tour, so. They're 197 years old, they'll still be going on tour. Let's it see, doesn't matter. Let's see that wild ass piece that you did at home, Kit. Just because that's such here. a crazy influence. Here, you can pass that over here. Yeah. This is the one right here. I just finished this one. If you zoom in, you can see, it's better if you just zoom in on it and you can see all the detail work. And this is this is what I'm going to be be doing. I'm going in this direction now. I want people to enjoy it and look at it and make sure you put your sunglasses on when you're looking at it because it's very bright and beautiful. Very tedious work, but it's worth it. You'll well, ask keep it there for a minute, please, Kit. <laughs> 